Come and join me at Gellért, one of the most iconic thermal baths in Budapest, Hungary, to have one last look before it closes for renovation. The adjoining hotel has already closed and the baths are also due to close soon. So here we are, it's really humid, ready, really hot. And this is such an interesting little corridor. Look at this, it's such a retro corridor. I love it. There's old photos of what the spa used to be like. I mean, it's not all that different now, but this is so cool. You can see up to the swimming pool. That's like windows to the pool itself. You can see some bathers. You need to find the cabins. Cabins. Okay, so a little changing room, a little cabin, cabin in Hungarian. Let's get changed. Here we are outside by the wave pool. The wave pool actually is not operating now until the renovation is completed. I think it's one of the oldest wave pools, maybe, in Europe. Uh, and the same machinery has been operating it ever since. Since. Uh, yes, you. <laughs> és teltház volt a Gellér fürdőben is. Reméljük, sok-sok ilyen meleg nap vár ránk a nyáron is. There's another pool up there. I'll have a look at that. I'll have a look around. Apparently, there used to be a sun terrace, a nudist sun terrace here, but um, apparently that's no longer an operation because when drones came in, when drones started to become more widespread, the nudist sun terrace became the center of their unwanted attention. Let's ask the lifeguards if they know where the nudist terrace used to be. I spoke to the lifeguard and he's not been here for all that long, but he knows that it was up there. The nudist terrace was up there on top of the hotel where those metal bars are and apparently it's not been open for ages but we'll see if we can find an all-time regular here today who remembers it no old-time regulars to be seen yet but i did find something else that's old look at these showers so so retro i love it i love it so we're here at the outdoor pool, one of the smaller outdoor pools at Gellert and it's 36 degrees and we're gonna go and enjoy. So we're sitting here uh, in the out one of the outdoor pools, the warm outdoor pool in a tourist suit. There's nothing wrong with that though. I'm also a tourist technically. Um, and I haven't seen very many Hungarians. There are two guys sitting next to me who are, who are Hungarian. Um, maybe a lady over there, but I don't want to make any assumption. Can I try to speak to someone? Or maybe. Maybe I'll have to come back early morning one day in the week to find some of the real regulars. Although we haven't managed to find any regulars so far today, I think you literally have to get up earlier for that. There are regulars who do frequent this place and have done so ever since it first opened in 1918. There was a really cool photo exhibition in 2013 at the Moi Manu Haz, which is a contemporary photography gallery in Budapest. The exhibition was called Minister at Gatyában, Ministers in the Andes, and it showcased the photos of the pool attendant and hobby photographer Pustai Sándor. If you have a look at the photos, some of them are spontaneous snapshots, but several of the subjects clearly posed for the photo. In the 1920s and 1930s, pool attendants were not those white-shirted people you observe today spending their days looking bored by the poolside. They were one of the most important people at the spa. They were the characters responsible for the comfort of the guests during their visit. And here are some photos of the photographer himself. Oh, 
So I'm looking for some regulars who have been coming here for years, but I haven't really seen anyone. So let's go inside and try to find someone. Maybe a little bit more mature, let's say, inside. After the 36 degree pool, let's try the cold wave pool, which is currently no longer a wave pool. I think it might be a bit of a shock to the system because I think it's going to be cold. And I know that because I can see that there are not many people in there. You go in here, don't be fooled by this. This is lovely and warm, but in there, that's freezing. <laughs> this is far too cold to me. This is kind of like swimming pool temperature, I'd say, or a little bit warmer even, but it's a bit cold for me on a day like this today. It's not that hot today, it's like 26 degrees today. It's pleasant actually, once you're in, but it's not the water by any means. It's a shame that the wave pool is not working. It's really one of the oldest mechanisms, I think, in Europe. I think it's finally conked out and they're not going to bother repairing it before the main big uh, renovation of this spa. It's kind of sad for me. I have a lot of childhood memories from this wave pool. But you know, it's still nice to cool down in the summer in. So we're here indoors inside Galliot Spa now and it's very noisy, it's very echoey so I hope you can hear me at least a little bit. So we're here, there's a pool here that's 36 degrees, so pretty warm and there's a big swimming pool here which is colder and you must wear a swimming cap. I mean, you must use a swim cap and the interesting thing to know about this indoor swimming pool here is that it used to be a winter garden when it was first built. It used to look like this. And interestingly, that guy over there is not required to wear a swim cap. I wonder why that is. And you can go up there. And I think there's also like a... Oh, I think you can go outside from there as well. I think this is also the way up to the buffet, which does not mean buffet. In Hungarian, it's cafe. It's actually a cafe, a little snack shop. Here we go. Oh, and you can, you can go outside from here. And here we are. Upstairs. This is what now remains of the greenhouse. These plants, these few plants up here. It's still nice though, I really like it. I wonder what they're gonna do with this space after the renovation. And you can go back outside here. I think it's beginning to rain, so lucky that we're going inside. And you can see the Citadella up there, on top of Gellert Hill. The statue on top of Citadella. It was actually raining a little bit inside as well, as there was a leak in the roof. It looks like the building is really in need of renovation. It's due to close sometime in April. The adjacent hotel is already closed. Stay tuned to watch my video about it. Anyway, let's continue the tour of the spa. Bit like a labyrinth, always here. Here we are in the one of the inner thermal pools. One of, this is the main thermal pool, actually. Um, again, it's very echoey, so I hope you can hear me. I hope you can hear me, okay? So I don't want to film people too much because, for obvious reasons. <laughs> But I will try to come back one morning when it's less busy 
uh, and it's also more quiet. But whilst we're here now, notice how beautiful this is. And wait, and I wait until I show you the women's section. We are currently in the men's section. Unfortunately, parts of the hotel, including the women's thermal pool area, got severely damaged during the Second World War, and the women's area wasn't restored to its former glory. And look at this, this is absolutely beautiful. Something quite satisfying about skating of flying scale in those quantities, but I don't think I want to do the whole run. I wonder if they're gonna do that. I don't think they're gonna clean this part here, it's kind of like off character of the place. I think they're gonna do the walls. I think they are probably gonna do the walls first. And that's where I'll leave you today guys. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you could leave a comment and a like on your way out and I'll see you in the next one.